In this video, you will learn how to connect to a remote DBMS from Neo4j desktop version 141. We will connect to a Neo4j instance that contains the data in the Movies database that is used in some of our introductory courses. In our project, we select Add and then Remote Connection. Next, we specify a name for the connection that is meaningful for our project. Then, we specify the URL for the remote instance. How you specify the URL will depend on the security of the instance. You obtain the specifics of how to connect to the DBMS from the owner of the DBMS. The DBMS we will connect to uses the Neo4j plus S scheme, as well as the standard Bolt port of 7687. This particular Movies DBMS is set up with role-based access control, whereby a user can only read the data. Next, you specify the credentials for accessing the DBMS. Here we were given Movies as the user and Movies as the password. Some types of connections require secure communication. With this type of connection, we do not need an encrypted connection. Finally, we click Save to complete the connection configuration for our project. In Neo4j Desktop, you can have a single DBMS started or a single connection to a remote DBMS. We select Connect to connect to the remote DBMS that we just configured. Once connected, we can open a Neo4j browser window to access the instance. We select the Movies database and then retrieve all movie nodes. When you are done using the connection, you can disconnect. As long as the remote Neo4j instance exists, you can keep the connection configuration in your Neo4j desktop project. You can remove the connection configuration when you no longer need it. This completes our look at how to connect to a remote DBMS from Neo4j Desktop version 141.